Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm just opening up a uh, file folder, boho file folder, and pulling out a boho junk journal that my sister made and gave to me for Christmas. Um, my sister is just has just started the 100 day project and she's convinced me to do it along with her and I'll see how I go. Hopefully I make the 100 days. But I thought I'd record um, the different things in this um, journal that my sister gave me. So um, this year for her 100 day project, um, what she did is she got her subbies to make suggestions of things that she can do. And her 100 day project is called Inspired By. So the first um, day that we've randomly picked the number, which was 73. And the first day is um, from a lady called Susan and she suggested um, that my sister did um, specimen um, slides. So um, she's already done hers, Roxy Creations by Rachel. I'll put a link to her um, project down the bottom and now I'm doing mine. So what I'm doing is I printed out two butterflies to see if I could put them back to back. And then I'm trimming it out, trimming it around. But I, um, as I get it done, I notice that the it doesn't line up very well on the back. Um, so even though I give this one a go, I decide that that's going to take too long, and it's too challenging. It's not quite aligned. So what I will actually do is I will back the butterflies in some book page. So. You'll see me do that in a minute. So my my specimens are going to be butterflies. I think Rachel did butterflies as well. It's kind of the obvious thing that you could put in that's going to look good in junk journals. Okay, so my four butterflies are now cut out um, and now I've got my laminator and I've, I've turned that on um, to heat it up and I'm going to laminate my four butterflies so that that represents like the glass um, that you'd normally see a specimen um, squished between um, when they make the specimen slides. So just lining them up, I'm going to pop it through. And I actually think they look quite good when it comes through. It actually brightens up the colours a little bit more. Um, just in case you are wondering where I got um, these butterfly images from, I got these from the Biodiversity Heritage Library on Flickr, which I've mentioned in my past couple of videos. Um, I've been having a great time going through all their wonderful photos. There's just thousands of them, so I've still got a lot more to go through. And they even added heaps again. 
in the last couple of days. So I'm now going to cut these down to, I cut them to approximately two and a quarter inch. I don't perfectly center them all. Um, I try to do my best, but they're not perfect, but I figured that proper old fashioned specimen slides aren't perfect anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just seeing if that will fit, measuring it out and I'll cut them all down. Okay, now all my butterflies are cut out and ready to go. Approximately um, two and a quarter inch. And my, um, I've got four um, bits of paper which I'm going to use for the front of the slide because I looked up um, vintage specimen slides um, and they used to make them with really pretty papers. Um, so I thought I'd use some of my Italian papers that I bought when I went to Italy um, to have a holiday with my sister. Um, and anyone that follows her knows that she gets some great Italian papers. So I'm using some of those papers. You would have seen them before because Rachel and I got the same ones at the time, pretty much. Most of them were the same. Um, and I'm just lining up where I'm going to cut out my window. Okay, now I'm cutting out my window. Now, I've definitely gone about this the hard way because I'm making four specimen slides and I measure four fronts and then you'll see I do four backs as well. If you had one of those die cut machines, I do have one, but if you have like a square, it doesn't have to be the same dimension as mine. You can do it whatever size you want. But if you had like a two and a half inch square or something like that, you could literally lay your papers down and cut them all at once and they'd be perfect. Um, I've got the die cut machine. I don't think I have the square. Uh, it's something I might want to get um, later on if I want to do some more specimen slides. Um, because I'm only hand cutting and I must say it's not perfect. You'll see that as I go along. So I've just used some PVA glue to run it around the edge, just like a thin little strip, um, because I don't know that the glue stick would stick down um, the laminating sort of plastic stuff. Um, and now what I'm going to do, I'm looking at my little backing. That's just some normal copy paper that I've tea dyed. I think it was tea, not coffee. Um, and now I'll start measuring that one out as well. So again, I'm just adding a little bit of PVA around the edge um, just to stick it down and then I'm going to actually add glue stick to the rest of it because the paper on paper will stick well with the glue stick. Um, this is quite a new glue stick, it's, it's quite soft so I keep getting chunks of blue. Um, 
I don't know, it's just quite soft when you first open it, these Yoohoo glues. Anyway, we'll stick this down and see how we go. Now I've got a little pile of um, labels. Um, these little labels I just made on my computer, printed them up onto sea dyed paper. I bought myself a new printer today, which is pretty exciting. I bought one of the Epson, um, the Echo, whatever ones, I can't remember what they're called, the Echo ones that people have been talking about that are using it in junk journaling because my old inkjet is not that great. It was just a cheapie. Um, and so I've been able to print up a few things. So I made these labels and the little number number stamps and things like that. Now these tags here um, are a photograph I found that someone had taken some specimen label photos. So I've got four of them that are going to go on my cards as well. And I'm using my croca, crocodile, crocodilly, whatever it's called. Um, and I'm going to put in one of those little um, hole thingy me jiggabees whatever um i don't know the name of them not brads something else eyelets eyelets is that right i think it's eyelets anyway you'll see my first um, specimen card based on the old-fashioned ones um, where they used to have the nice paper so I'm just cutting out my fourth paper I've got I've got three more I've done one already and I've got three more papers and my three more butterflies I'm just working out which one I want to put with which colored paper and now the PVA glue around the edges again just to stick them all down So all my butterflies are glued and all my papers are cut and I'm now just sticking the background paper on each one. This time I just went straight for glue stick. I didn't use the PVA as well. And the glue stick seems to be working okay. So here's my three other specimen slides ready to go um, and now I'm going to get some of the labels and stick them on top. I've actually um, put proper butterfly names on there but the actual name doesn't necessarily or doesn't at all match with the actual butterfly in the illustration. Um, I just picked some real life butterflies and, and some of them I've actually picked the um, year that they were first discovered.
So I'm just finishing off um, adding my label to my slide, my little labels that I found photos of and now just some twine to finish them all off. I liked how, they, how they've turned out. I, I really like the, um, the Italian papers with the pretty illustrations. And, um, and the numbers as well. I just used a stamp that I bought in Daiso, Japanese cheap shop that we've got. Um, and the little, the actual little number labels, I made them as well. They're just really simple and just printed them onto tea dye paper. I think they've worked out well. So I hope you like them. So that's my first day one of the 100 day project. Hopefully I make day two. Okay, bye.